Here's a quick tutorial about the inspector. So we've got several functions here which are really practical. Some people might overlook and one of them is, well, obviously you've got like loop and mutes and stuff like that, which are pretty obvious. But here we've got transpose. Now, this is pretty useful, uh, I find, for just generally transposing. So if I just go like this, take it up one, I took it up five, sorry. Um, so you can hear that. Down nine. So that's quite a useful function that's really quick. We also have um, fine tune here. We have gain, obviously, you know about gain, which is really practical if you want to bring down or bring up the clip itself. You can do that on any clip doesn't have to be just one you can just individually take a clip like that and then bring it up or down here um, here we have also delay which we can then delay the track itself which is useful for like if you've got drums you can have two separate two tracks and then put them in stereo and delay one and that will give you a great stereo effect on a keyboard or on a um, on a like a hi-hat or something so to do that you just Duplicate your track here, copy that down like so, then pan these back to front like that. Okay, then this one we'll delay it forward slightly. Okay, so if you can listen to it without delay, it just sounds sounds like it's in mono still. Now let's delay that a bit. There you go. So you've got now bass in stereo that we don't really want, but just to show you how that works. But that's really good for keyboards. If you've got a mono keyboard and you want to turn it into stereo, that's a pretty cool function. Um, and then you've got like a fade out, fade in. You can you can actually um, select what you want here by having a fade in or fade out. Um, at the beginning, it can be uh, a fade in or a speed up. You can select it here and you can select the curve that you want as well. So if you've got like um, fade in, you can then select the curb type here by, it could be like a crossfade or it can be the curved sort of crossfade that makes it dip up. Um, then fade out, you can do the same thing. Then you can quantize as well uh, when it's in MIDI. So go to a MIDI track here, you've got the uh, quantize and velocity and all these functions here that are really, really useful as well in real time. So yeah, the inspector is pretty useful, pretty powerful, and I uh, hope there's some stuff there that you've learned, and I'll see you soon. If you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you soon.